Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm teaming up with Danny from Danny's Dreams for a crafty collaboration. We both have card making challenges where crafters can use the items that they have in their stash to get creative and have a chance to win some prizes. Danny is over the There's a Stamp for That Challenge, which is a bi-weekly challenge on Facebook that offers a new challenge every other Sunday. Each challenge generally has two to three themes, so you can use what you have in your stash without feeling like you have to buy something new. Now, my challenge is a quarterly card making challenge where you can make 15 cards using just six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. It's like a one sheet wonder times six. Now, this current challenge number six ends on June 30th, so there's still a little bit of time left to join in. Now, if you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenges, I invite you to watch this introduction video that I'm linking above and also in the description box below. I would also love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. So Danny's current challenge number 40, the theme is ocean creatures, fish or dots or dinosaurs. And this runs until July 2nd. And we are both sharing a sneak peek of one of the cards we created using the her theme and my card sketch number 15 for my new quarterly card challenge number seven that starts on July 1st. So this is like a sneak peek. So this particular card sketch only has two different strips of pattern paper in the top left hand corner, leaving plenty of room to build a scene in the bottom right. Now I will have a video posted on my channel on July 1st introducing challenge seven, but what I'm really excited about for this upcoming challenge is that there are 12 company sponsors this quarter with over $400 worth of prizes that will be given away, which is double the amount of prizes that we have for challenge six. But I'll talk more about this in my next video. So let's go ahead and get started on making this card. I decided to go with the ocean creatures theme. So I'm using this ocean friends kit from Queen and Company. This kit allows you to make shaker cards out of these adorable ocean creatures. There's a crab, a turtle, an octopus, a jellyfish, a whale, a stingray, a seal, and a narwhal. Plus it also has some accent dies where you can build an underwater scene. And these are the dies here. You can see there's some seaweed, a little starfish, some, a fish, some bubbles, all kinds of cool stuff. And this kit also has um, the foam pieces here for all the creatures along with the clear acetate sheets that are already cut for you. So this kit makes it super easy to make a bunch of cards. And then th this is the stamp set here that comes in the kit and it has a lot of different ocean themed sentiments. And you'll see me use most all of these stamps in my upcoming video. But for the card that I'm making today, I'm using the sentiment that says birthday fishes. And this kit also has a separate matching solid color paper pad. So there's a darker shade and a lighter shade of all of the different colors that are in the pattern paper pad. And this is what I used for my layers. And I'll just quickly show you the different patterns in the pattern paper, six by six paper pad. And I know it's hard to see some of these smaller patterns, but this first one here, this blue one, it has some little white circles on it. And then on the back side, it's got these cute sea creatures. And then there's this gray pattern with tiny white polka dots. And then on the back side, it has these diagonal stripes and then this yellow sheet with more stripes on the back. And then there's a green sheet with colorful dots on the back. And then there's another striped pattern with light blue dots on the back. And then there's the starfish pattern. And then it's got purple scales on the back side. And then there's another sheet of ocean creatures and they're in different colors. And on the back side of that has some teal waves. Sorry, I'm off camera a little bit. And then there's the sheet of fish on the back side. There's some pink stripes and then it starts over. So there's 24 sheets in this paper pad. So there's just, um, there's two extra and I won't be using the yellow and the green here for, um, for the six sheets that I selected. You'll get to see all 15 of the cards that I made with this kit in my upcoming video on the first. But for this particular card, I'm using the starfish pattern and the diagonal stripe pattern for the half inch strips of paper C and E. 
that are called for on this sketch. And I went ahead and cut out my layers from that solid colored cardstock. And I went ahead and cut out the jellyfish and the accent dies. And then I used a piece of 110 pound white heavyweight cardstock that I cut down to A2 size for my card base. And I also cut a sheet of light blue cardstock to measure four and a quarter by five and a half to completely cover the front. Now in the bottom left hand corner, I already stamped the sentiment that says birthday fishes using some navy memento ink. And now I'm just going to put this card together and glue down all of my pieces. Now, I like to use Nuvo liquid adhesive because it dries clear and it dries pretty fast, but it gives me just enough time to scoot the pieces where I want them before it dries. Now for the strips of pattern paper, I'm gluing them onto those layers and then I'm going to try to place them at the same angle at a diagonal so that most of the paper will show. And then after gluing them down, I'm just going to trim off the ends with my scissors. So um, while I build the rest of my scene here, I'll just share a few things about my card challenge and how to enter. As I mentioned earlier, card challenge number six ends on June 30th. And this challenge, or each challenge, is open to card makers worldwide. And you can find the free printable on my website at cardsbykendra.com. I'll link that below. There's also a link to my Facebook group called Kendra's Card Challenges in the description box as well. Then, what you'll do is you'll upload your photo of all 15 cards into the official entry photo album for the quarter. And that's to officially enter. And then I've also put some separate albums in there for each card sketch so that you can share a photo of each card individually so that everyone can see the cards up close a little better because when you take a picture of all 15 cards it's kind of hard to see them but if you're not on Facebook you can email me your photo but I also wanted to mention that there will be a big giveaway hop on July 2nd of 2022 where me and some of my crafty friends will be participating in a video hop here on YouTube where we will be sharing cards that we made with challenge number seven and each of the 15 card sketches will be highlighted. So I hope you'll join us and hop along. I also wanted to mention my membership program where my channel viewers can sign up to be a patron to help support my channel and also receive additional perks and benefits starting at just $5 a month. Now these patron benefits include a handmade card made by me each month, access to a printer friendly version of the current challenge PDF file, plus a shout out on all of my challenge videos. And as an all access patron, you can get early access to my card challenges. And what that means is challenge seven is now available to download. So if you wanna go ahead and get started, you can join as a patron today and have immediate access. Plus, you'll have access to my archive challenges and bonus free printables each month, plus a lot more. So for more information on how to become a member, please visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's Card Challenges. I'll have this link down below also in the description box. Now, remember for challenge six, you have until June 30th to create your cards and get them posted to the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group or email to me. And for Danny's challenge, entering is very similar. You'll just need to upload your photo of your card to her current challenge album. And for her challenge, once there's a certain number of entries, there's a chance to win a prize in her group also. So I hope you'll consider joining in on both card making challenges and share this information with your card making friends. I absolutely love challenges and I hope that this video has inspired you to get creative. Please check out Danny's video that I have linked at the top of the description box so that you can see how she combined her current challenge theme of dinosaurs using sketch number 15 from challenge 7 that begins July 1st. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button and also leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you think. Also, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. I read every single comment. I really appreciate all of my subscribers and I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you like my shaker card and I hope you'll join us in sharing your creativity with our card challenges. Have a wonderful day.